us together, go wild and crazy, and welcome Kevin O'Brien! Keep going! He's coming! Good evening. So it took me ages to get here tonight. Uh, you know, there's um, there's three Gregs and a McDonald's between uh, <laughs> between the station and here. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, um, I'm from a small town between uh, Sheffield and Hell. <laughs> Some people like to refer to it as Hull. It's an easy mistake to make. So I'm having a lot of bad luck lately. Give me an R. The girlfriend left me. I didn't ask for that one. She actually said I cared more about my puzzle books than her. Which is true. But five years together and never a crossword. So I'd insult to <laughs> So I'd insult to injury. She only moved one house across, two doors down. <laughs> so uh, does anybody know what the oldest profession is? No, it's not. Any any of us? Barber? No, it's not that. No. I'll tell you, it could go on all night, this. So it's actually a DJ, because uh, disc jockeys have been around since records first began. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I like watching the news because I'm a pessimist, and uh, I saw... Um, I saw a story on the news the other day and it said um, they're talking about banning um, rulers and pencils in schools. I mean, where do you draw the line? <laughs> I don't normally move when I'm telling that story because it's a stationary joke. <laughs> So the same uh, news story, they're talking about other things, which was always a really nice story, this one. It, say, it said that the future import of Greek cheeses will be unfettered, <laughs> which was good to know. So is anybody good at DIY? Yeah. One person. I'm terrible at DIY, as, as are most people. So during lockdown, I needed... Um, a shelf for my kitchen. So I had to get a handyman round, and uh, he came round, I said, can you give me a quote? He said, yeah, 50 quid. I said, 50 quid for a shelf? Can you put it up for me? He said, okay, 60 quid. <laughs> so the woman in the local cafe, she hates me. <laughs> She's not alone. But every time I go in there, I, pre I pretend I'm a journalist. So whenever she asks me, uh, do you want HP or ketchup on your bacon sandwich, I always say to her, I'm sorry, I can't divulge my sources. <laughs> Straight out of the Christmas cracker box, that one. <laughs> so I saw a woman earlier today and... Um, thank you. Nice chat. So, uh, thanks. It's not a conversation, mate. It's comedy. So, uh, so um, there's a woman on our street today. She passed out. Quite sad. In one arm, she had uh, a bag of chickpeas. On the other hand, she had a 
bag of lentils. So I rushed over and took a pulse. <laughs> the good news is um, I've got a cracking curry out of them. <laughs> now, as a child, I always wanted to be a plumber. Any plumbers in? Plumbers, yeah. And uh, I, I think it was a bit of a pipe dream, really. But uh, <laughs> so I, I even. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, t I'll take that one out. Thank you. I got a cheer for taking a joke out. That's good news, isn't it? So um, I even went to the expense of buying a book called The History of Wrenches. It's gripping. And heart wrenching. Thank you. So. Um, I like, um, whenever I go to some place, I like to go shopping. Liverpool, brilliant for shopping. It's great, isn't it? Great place to shop. Earlier today I was out and I bought some small dishes and small plates and some of those little salad forks. And that's just for starters. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, has anybody seen the movie... Uh, how to Train Your Dragon. It's a great movie, isn't it? Well, I, I was actually a bit disappointed with it because it had uh, absolutely nothing to do with um, marriage guidance. <laughs> Thank you. Dragons are gender neutral, by the way, so <laughs> could go either way, that one. So um, I'll tell you what makes comedians happy is when they get a really nice review. So, I won't be getting one here, that's for sure. So, uh, you get these really nice reviews. Hold on. When you get a really nice review, and uh, I'll, I'll, I got a really nice one recently. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what it said. I mean, it's really nice. It said, this guy is unmissable. I didn't write it, and that was from the uh, Liverpool Archery Club. <laughs> so, I've, uh, when I first started comedy, you might, you, might real, you might not believe this, but I wasn't very good at it, and uh, <laughs> unlike, thank you, you bastard. Um, <laughs> so, uh, some might say nothing's changed, as he just did, but um, thank you. So... I used to make the mistake of putting these little video clips of my early open mic stuff and I was really bad at it. So my brother, uh, <laughs> thank you. So uh, my brother um, phoned me up and he said, um, I've just watched your videos and they're terrible. I said, really? I said, tell me why they're terrible. He said, you don't laugh, you don't smile, you don't run around the stage. I said, I'm not Michael McIntyre. <laughs> and then he said, uh, I said, it's a genre. It's uh, deadpan, one-liner material. He said, you're talking rubbish. I said, look, have you heard of Les Dawson, Jack D, Joe Brand? They all do deadpan, one-liner material. He said, yeah, but they're funny. <laughs> The light's just gone on, so I've got to get off. Thank you very much. You've been lovely. I've been Kevin O'Brien.